The Lox Agency has been operating a very successful introduction to game angling starter pond at their headquarters for the last few years. This has helped introduce hundreds of people of all ages to the sport annually. Lox Agency found there was a need to increase this capacity and also explore other fishing disciplines and fish species and therefore decided to create a coarse fishing pond. An area of land was identified for the project and one of the first steps was to dig test holes to establish the nature of the underlying substrate and also identify any potential barriers that could hold back or even make the project impossible. Plans were drawn using CAD and other techniques so that the required dimensions, depths and contours of the pond could be incorporated in detail. Once a contractor was employed, the plan allowed him to calculate what volume of material had to be excavated and transported off-site. The plan also focused on the subsurface contours and depths to allow for the different habitats required for aquatic plant species and also for fish welfare, providing them with shelter, deep water and spawning areas. Another important design was a subsurface safety shelf which surrounds the margins so that if anyone fell in, then they would not fall immediately into very deep water. This would also provide good habitat for marginal plants, fish fry and invertebrates. The Lox Agency Coarse Fish Pond has recently been planted with aquatic native vegetation. These species have been chosen primarily to aid uh, water quality. With some care and attention given to the establishment of these plants, they will quickly improve the biodiversity value of the pond. The plants in the Coarse Fish Pond can be divided into three main sections. The deep water or submerged plants, shallow water and marginal plants and we've also got plants that have floating leaves. Uh, the deep water plants are very important. They provide much needed oxygen. They receive all their nutrients from the water and they also remove harmful nutrients. And importantly they provide shelter for fish 
and protection for fry. Floating leaf species such as lilies are dormant during the winter and come alive during the spring. They have an important role when their leaves spread out across the surface of protecting fish from harmful UV rays. They also have an important role in reducing algae and in terms of management they do need to be thinned out every few years. The Locks Agency plans to stock its coarse fish pond with a number of uh, coarse fish present within the island of Ireland. I'm standing in the Locks Agency River Watch Discovery Centre beside a tank with a uh, European perch in it. It is a bit of a, a learning curve. We're trying to find out the best way to maybe establish a coarse fish pond and some of the issues that we foresee are things like perch and other fish species producing a large number of eggs which have the potential to hatch out uh, into young. So, there's the potential for overstocking, and in any fishery, overstocking is not a good thing. You can end up uh, with larger numbers uh, having the potential to spread disease a lot quicker uh, and for the potential for disease to move between species. So we're going to have to work out ways to, to control that, and the first stage in that will be to monitor reproduction. So at spawning time, we'll be keeping a close eye on the number of egg ribbons that are being produced by the perch. Another fish species that the Locks Agency are planning to introduce into the coarse fish pond uh, are roach. Ruttulus ruttulus is its Latin name. Uh, it was actually introduced to the Barons Court estate and foil system, from which it uh, quickly populated uh, lots of the standing and indeed flowing waters within the foil area. So they spawn a bit like perch, and they produce large numbers of sticky eggs, but they like to produce or reproduce in small, shallow uh, areas where there's vegetation where the uh, sticky eggs can adhere to. Uh, and they also have a very short incubation time for their eggs. Uh, they take maybe five to six days to hatch out. Roach are omnivores. They'll be a welcome addition to the Lox Agency Coarse Fish Pond where they'll be able to feed on uh, a wide variety of uh, organisms. I would imagine that they'll uh, target uh, larval insects in uh, particular within the pond. So they'll, uh, they'll have plenty of feeding within it. The Lox Agency are striving uh, to not have to feed the fish within the Coarse Fish Pond and rather achieve a bit of an ecological balance where there's enough natural prey uh, and enough natural food being produced within the pond ecosystem itself.